Hello, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> what are we looking at here? So this is uh, 20,000 Leagues Above the Clouds, which is an indie game that we're working on. Uh, it's an adventure game set in a steampunk world among the clouds, up among floating islands. Uh, and you play the captain of an airship with its crew, and you are on a steampunk journey across the seven skies. Wow. So you told me a little bit before, but what was your inspiration? How did you come up with this? So, uh, gameplay-wise, the game is sort of inspired by Sid Meier's Pirates, but also with uh, a lot of more branching story and dialogue from games like Baldur's Gate. Uh, you only control your one ship, so, so there's a bit of action like in World of Warcraft or Diablo. Um, Art-wise, we're very inspired by the likes of, uh, of Miyazaki with his, uh, his films, so uh, very colorful, pastel-like worlds, and we want it to be kind of very graphic and colorful, but also easily accessible. Wow. Okay, so this looks great. Can we just... Um, yeah, sure. So, would you show me the way to the tavern? I didn't find it before. Yeah, okay. So, so here's my ship. Yeah. So right now it's night time and I'm traveling around here. Oh, it shifted before it was uh, daytime, right? Yes, so, uh, so the time has passed and now it's, it's night. So here's the skyport. Ah. So I can land here in the skyport. And uh, your team is from Sweden, right? Yes. So we're three people working on the game. We're just about to bring up, uh, bring on a fourth person. Wow. Uh, so uh, in the skyport, you can go into the tavern, wow. talk to characters. They can give you missions, uh, and you can also uh, look at your ship and upgrade it with. Oh. So if you were in a fight, you can also fix it and stuff. Or? Yeah, exactly. So so you you can get new cannons, you can get new uh, engines for the ship, you can change the whole ship frame to be something different. Mm -hmm. So how do I earn, how do we earn coins? How can we how does that work in the game? Uh, so you can either you can trade between different skyports. So there is a trader here where you can uh, buy different items, and some of them are cheap and some of them are expensive. Oh. And it uh, varies from port to port. So in some ports, some items might be cheaper. Oh yeah. Um, so you might want to get a, a big ship with a big cargo hold to to, to trade uh, in another yeah, port to exactly, make money. Exactly. Okay, cool. And you can also make money from from running missions, of course, and gathering resources in the yeah. world, wow. things like that. And when were you planning on releasing the actual game? Did you do you have a plan? Well, we. We're saying, well, the old cliche, it's done when it's done. So uh, I, I would guess that we're about halfway into development and we've been working on it for two and a half years. So, uh, But it should be faster now that we're more people on the team as well. So we're looking at first releasing a, like a public demo of the game so that we see how it's received. That sounds great. Thank you so much for telling me about the game. Thank you. And good Thank luck you. to you guys. Thank you. Thank you.